Hello and welcome to Fitness Show once again. I go by the name Manupoko Ansu and I bring to you Venus Trombo and Bulletin. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Now, let's talk a little bit about the topic and first of all the concept of Venus Trombo and Bulletin. So, what is Venus Trombo and Bulletin? Venous thromboembolism is a clot that has formed in the venous system. Another word for veins is venous. A medical term for a blood clot is a thrombus. When the thrombus or blood clot breaks off and travels from one vein to another part of the body, it is called an embolus. A clot which forms in a deep vein in the body is called deep vein thrombosis. When the clot breaks off from the deep vein in the body and travels to the lungs, it is called pulmonary embolism. So venous is for veins. Trombo is for the clot in the deep vein in the leg, termed as deep vein thrombosis, and embolism is for the clot in the lungs, termed as pulmonary embolism, all making up the name venous thromboembolism. One might be wondering why blood clots. Well, the body creates blood clots to help stop bleeding and heal wounds. For example, scabs are blood clots on the skin that form to stop bleeding from a cut or injury. Clots also form when we have injuries inside the body. Most of the time, the body gets rid of the blood clot once the injury or wound heals. However, sometimes these clots can cause problems. Blood clots form within blood vessels in the body. Blood clots in veins close to the skin are usually not serious. However, when blood clots form in deep veins of the legs, hips, pelvis, or rarely in the arms, neck, or chest, they can be dangerous and require immediate medical attention. So, how do we find out who is going to have venous thromboembolism or who is at risk of getting venous thromboembolism? First of all, we need to look out for the risk factors. Dangerous blood clots can happen to anyone, but true risk factors make them more likely to happen. Not moving for a long time, such as on a long trip or when staying in bed for long because you are sick or hurt, or having surgery, such as hip or knee surgery. Other risk factors include smoking, being overweight, having COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, having an injury or trauma, having family members who have had blood clots, having cancer taking birth control pills, taking tamoxifen, having a baby, having inflammatory bowel disease, the most common types being ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and or being older. The more of these risk factors you have, the more likely you are to develop venous thromboembolism. Warning signs of a deep vein thrombosis include pain in one leg or arm, swelling usually in one leg or arm, or skin that is red or not of usual color, and or warmth in the affected area as well. If you have had any of these signs of deep vein thrombosis, you should see a doctor right away. Of note, some people with deep vein thrombosis have no signs or symptoms. As mentioned earlier, when a blood clot breaks off and moves to the lungs, it's called pulmonary embolism. This is a serious condition and requires rapid medical attention. You should get emergency help if you have any of these warning signs of blood clots in your lungs. Trouble catching your breath or breathing fast for no reason. Pain in your chest, which may be worse when taking a deep breath. A fast heartbeat for no reason, dizziness, fainting or passing out, and or coughing up blood, which is medically called hemoptysis. When the clot blocks a blood vessel in your lungs, there is a sudden increase in pressure in the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery is the blood vessel that connects the right ventricle of the heart to the lungs in a sense that it receives the oxygenated blood from the right ventricle of the heart to the lungs to be oxygenated. This sudden increase in pressure increases the afterload of the right ventricle which pumps blood to the lungs. As a result in some patients, the right ventricle has to work harder to keep pumping blood but after a certain threshold, it fails. This disrupts blood flow to vital organs leading to death, a process known as hemodynamic collapse. If you suspect a dangerous blood clot, see your doctor who will ask about your signs and symptoms and examine you. Remember, if you have pain, swelling, redness or warmth in one leg, or if you have trouble breathing, pain in your chest, fast heartbeat, dizziness or syncope, or if you cough up blood, see your doctor or call 911 immediately. Different tests are used to find clots in the body. An ultrasound uses sound waves to form a picture of the clots inside the veins of your body. A blood test for D-dimer indicates if your blood contains a chemical substance called D-dimer which is a product of the breakdown of blood clots. You might also need other tests such as a computerized tomography scan or CT scan of the lungs with IV contrast or a ventilation perfusion or VQ lung scan. These scans can show where the clots or clots are in the lungs. There are a number of treatments available for venous thromboembolism including antithrombotic treatments with drugs such as direct oral anticoagulants, vitamin K antagonists, 
a low molecular weight heparin drug such as bemiparin and enoxaparin. There are also medical procedures such as reperfusion therapy to restore blood flow to the blocked vessels. Thank you for your time. Do have a great day. Remember, this is Fitness Drill. Your health is our concern.